I've had people ask me if they could watch me do my lead generation. And I always laugh and say, not unless you want to spend the day with me in my pajamas, <laughs> because I get to do my lead generation from home. And uh, luckily during the summer, I live in Las Vegas, so it's more likely that I'm in a, uh, in a uh, bathing suit and sundress most of the day. But anyway, we're going to talk today. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to um, I'm going to take you through a blog post, start to finish, um, including research and how I come up with the idea for what to blog about. And then we're going to order the content. I'm not going to write it. Isn't that fun? We're going to order the content from a ghostwriter, and I'm going to talk about that. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. Then we're going to receive the blog post from the ghostwriter, which by the way, I've already, I've already received it. So we'll just kind of go through the steps so that you can see what it looks like. And then we're going to actually take that blog post and we're going to put it onto WordPress. And once we put it onto WordPress, then we're going to optimize the blog post for a couple of things. One for a quality user experience. We want to make sure that the, the, the reader of the blog is enjoying the experience and that it's it's um, properly formatted and designed for mobile as well as desktop. We're going to um, include items for uh, the search engines as well. So we're going to search engine optimize the blog post because the goal is to get it to show up on um, the search engines. I'm also going to show you how we use uh, schema on our blog post to work on earning a featured rich uh, snippet in the zero position. I'm going to show you how we include a table of contents for both the quality user experience and uh, for to gain site links on Google. Uh, I'm going to show you how to add images and optimize them for, um, for Google as well and how we uh, can add video to our blog post because media is so important these days for both the user experience and the search engines look for them. I'm going to show you how we use semantically related keywords and, um, and articles and I'm going to show you how we use short codes and how we include uh, IDX. In this particular case, this is going to be a blog for the real estate agent website. So I'm going to show you how we include calls to action and IDX and um, offers for home value so that if somebody is finding our blog um, hyper locally, we do also offer real estate services in there as well. Okay, so this is going to be quite comprehensive. So grab yourself some water, a cup of coffee, and we'll dive in to this um, uh, amazing educational tutorial on how to blog on WordPress. And if you're not blogging on WordPress and you're just watching this to learn how to blog, um, the concepts don't change. The concepts of how we create a blog and why we create a blog and what's important to have on the blog don't change. It just might be how you actually do it, okay? Now, this is uh, my real estate agent website we're gonna use today. And if you like this um, theme, I own a marketing company and we build real estate agent websites and we do blog content and pay-per-click marketing, that type of thing. And this is called uh, the Brew, Ballin Real Estate Websites. And um, this is our house brew. And that means you can't get this theme anywhere else. Although we have other themes that we have other designs that are that are standard WordPress um, customized templates. This one you can only get from Ballon Brands directly. And we also have an infused brew. So we are Infusionsoft um, partners as well. And uh, we can infuse your your brew and and get you some um, lead cultivation campaigns and a CRM as well. Okay, uh, I have other videos on on more of what the brew has to offer. So I'm in here in my WordPress website here, my brew, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to new, and I'm going to click post. Okay, so this is what we're going to do today is we're going to do um, we're gonna do a little research first. So this tool here is one of my favorites. This is called SEMrush. And by the way, all the tools that I'm gonna talk about um, on this on this video or video series here, I'll probably make cut this down for to a series. Well, you can go to lauriestools.com and see all of the tools that I use and get links for them. So in this particular case, we're gonna use SEMrush. So all you have to do is go over to lauriestools.com, click on SEMrush and it's going to open for you and you'll be able to actually set up a free trial there. 
Now, if you're not using, uh, you don't have the budget for these tools, please don't panic. Don't, don't think to yourself, oh my gosh, I can't do this stuff because I don't have that tool. To these kind of tools just make things easier. Uh, there's so many ways to get something done. There's so many tools to accomplish the goal. There's free and paid and trials and whatnot. So please don't get caught up in that. But I am going to show you um, using my favorite tools so that you can see exactly how I do this every single day. I don't want to create free workarounds today because I want you to see how I exactly do this. Okay. So in my case, I have chosen SEM Rush for my keyword research. Now, up here in this little dashboard here, I'm going to type in the word Las Vegas. Okay. Now, here's why I'm starting with this for today's video. I want to do a hyper local blog post. And any business that is a local business can benefit from hyper local blog posts talking about the general area and then tying in your niche or service or product to how that um, fits in to that area. Now, in my case, in this particular case, again, we're talking about real estate. So I'm going to write hyper local blog posts that are all about the area. And then I'm going to tie in my real estate services. So in order to find out what would be the best topics for me to look into, I'm looking for, um, I'm looking for keywords that have um, a decent amount of search volume, you know, people typing into Google the keyword phrase. Sometimes I'm looking for very low search volume, but in this particular case, I want to, I want to pick a hyperlocal blog post that I know people are searching. Okay. And then I'm also going to um, choose potentially something that has some pay-per-click value to it as well. I'm not going to necessarily do pay-per-click, but it's, it's, it, it, when you see a good cost per click, it's indicative of a valuable keyword, um, as well. Okay. Not always valuable to your business. It depends on your business, but in my case, that's what I'm looking for. So I start, I'm going to start with this little, um, with this little keyword report here. So I've typed in Las Vegas and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to click on view full report so that I can get all of the organically ranking keywords on Google and get an idea for what I want to blog about today. So the top one based on search volume is Craigslist Las Vegas. Now, a lot of the long tail keyword phrases are not going to show up in here. They're going to be more head terms, although you will see some long tails. So long tail, a, a head term um, keyword, a head keyword is, is going to, the, the, um, these are going to be your most popular, your top keywords are typically, typically going to have two to three words. Okay. Like for example, Las Vegas, maybe Las Vegas homes, Las Vegas shows, Las Vegas weather, but a long tail keyword phrase, like in this case, Craigslist, Las Vegas, it might be Craigslist, Las Vegas, real estate near me. That would be a long tail that may not show up in here. Okay. So I'm going to get lots of ideas and I'm going to build my own long tails around that because the power is in the long tail, the, um, the niches, that's where you can actually, the lower barrier of entry is in those long tail keywords. So here I'm going to take a look at Craigslist, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, Las Vegas, weather, Las Vegas hotels. Okay. So Las Vegas hotels, um, that's a good one for me being in Las Vegas but I don't want to start with the top that high of a level and just list all the hotels. Although I do have, I have already done some work on the hotel maps and strip maps and some of that kind of stuff. I'm going to drill down just a little bit lower. I'm not going to do anything on Craigslist right now. Ah, okay. Here we go. Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. Now I just said hotels is one that I do want to cover but I don't want to start at the top. Well, here's a good one. Cosmopolitan Las Vegas is a very popular hotel that's here. Um, one of our fairly newer hotels here in Las Vegas and um, known for its restaurants and buffets and beach clubs and nightclubs and all that kind of stuff. So this is a good one for me. Now this has 135,000 searches and this is just on desktop. I just have the desktop option open right now. Now, over here, it does tell me that the keyword difficulty organically is very high. So from on a, a scale of zero to a hundred, higher is um, harder to rank for. So if I didn't know what I was doing, 
And I'm just getting started. This is not going to be a keyword phrase I'm going to start with because it's going to be way more competitive. However, I do know what I'm doing and I'm at that point now where I've built uh, most of my lower competition keywords and I'm now building the higher competition. So I am going to choose this one for me today. Um, if I were coaching you, if you're in my, um, if you're one of my marketing clients or one of my coaching clients, this is, would not be our, our starting point. Uh, this is where we work our way up to. Okay. The cost per click on this one is two bucks. Now Vegas, uh, uh, cost per click for real estate really isn't too bad. Um, for the real estate side, I'm paying less than two bucks per click in most cases for my, um, for my marketing. Certain niches, like the scroll down here, the, the, the head term hotels in Las Vegas, three bucks and 55 cents. You can see it goes up for cosmopolitan specifically, it's $2. So it's got some value there. And what happens is there's actually a value that you're given from tools like this one with SEM rush that says your website traffic your organic earned in unpaid web traffic is worth this much dollars and how they come up with that is based on the pay-per-click spend so all of these all of this traffic you're earning from the search engines naturally organically unpaid if you paid for that traffic on google adwords it would cost you this much money that's what your your traffic is kind of worth so that's where these kind of things come into play as well. And then we have the pay-per-click competition level. So um, not too bad. It's actually pretty low. So if I wanted to go pay-per-click on this, um, which I, I don't for my purpose, that wouldn't be beneficial for me. But it's, it's, there's not a lot of competition for that keyword phrase. So it would, it would tell me that there's, some, there's not a lot of advertisers. There's, you know, um, sometimes you can get two or three advertisers that bid this up to eight bucks and it would still show low competition. It would just be a low number of ad advertisers that bid it up where this is, this is showing us how much, how many advertisers are like in this pool and, it, and it's not too bad. It's pretty low. Okay. And so this here, this is the SERP. This is the search engine results page. So if you click on this little box, it actually opens Google and there it's, it's a snippet of, um, what is showing up on the search engine for that term? And this is always good to look at. So I can see here the number one um, ad spot is the Cosmopolitan. They're actually advertising, which is smart for their um, for their top spot. And I don't see any other ads in here. So again, low competition for for pay per click. Um, and then the second, the earned in top spot is them. So the odds that I'm going to beat the Cosmopolitan for their own hotel are pretty slim. So I'm not gunning for the number one spot. In fact, I'm looking more for those long tail phrases, which I'll get to in a little bit anyway. But it could, if I wanted the number one spot, I might, if this was my entire goal, okay, I'm only willing to spend money on things I can get the number one spot on, this, pro, this one might not be one I would go for. However, looking at the number two spot, TripAdvisor on the number three spot, Wikipedia tells me I could, I could take those spots probably if I wanted to at least make my way into the top three, probably. And I just know that based on my own experience, but I still have to go look at a little research on this to find out. Okay. So I have chosen my keyword for my blog post is going to be Cosmopolitan Las Vegas. I happen to have a series, a blog series on my website called things to do in Las Vegas. And, um, I under things to do in Las Vegas, um, or living in Las Vegas, either one of those categories, I'll have a category called, um, hotels in Las Vegas. Remember up here, we're going to, we're going to title it this one, Las Vegas hotels, Las Vegas hotels. And then underneath the Las Vegas hotels are, are going to be my posts, cosmopolitan Luxor palms, you know, the, all that type of thing. Um, and what they all, what they offer. So this is going to be a series that I'm going to work on, um, it, all year. I mean, we've got a lot of hotels, so this could be something I work on for years even. Uh, but that's the, that's the concept and that's the idea for how we're going to do this. Now, our next step is going to be to go in and do some research on what needs to be involved in our content. And we're going to look at that on um, part two, the part two video of this series.